Hi, and welcome to our continuing adventure, what it's like to live here in Portugal. I'm Ross. And I'm Kathleen. We have lived here in Porto now for six months, yeah, and we figured it was the perfect time to let you know how it's been going. So, what's it been like living here? If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, please subscribe and share. If you're a regular viewer, thank you for your support and interest. At the beginning of 2021, we began asking each other, what's going to be our next adventure? And remember, we had COVID then, so. <laughs> right. We, well, were, we were wanting to plan a big wedding anniversary trip, trip to the UK. And then, in that planning stage, we said to each other, what if? What if we could move to Europe? So, as we begin to explore this thought, we begin to hear a lot about how the quality of life was just wonderful in Portugal. We can tell you this, from day one until now, after six months, the quality of life here in Porto is definitely great. But what is quality of life exactly? I mean, it definitely means different things to different people. We have our kind of own idea. And after many conversations and making lists and scratching things off and putting more things on and really exploring our desires, we finally defined what quality of life means for us. Quality of life for us Number one, living in a place where we feel safe and are safe. Portugal has been ranked as the third safest place to live in the world. The United States, it's 129 out of the 163 world countries. Not so awesome. We've yet to feel uncomfortable walking late at night either. And sometimes we do stay up late, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's no gun culture here, which makes a big difference on how you go about your day. Number two, affordability. A place where our monthly income provides us with a reasonably comfortable lifestyle. And here it does. Thus far, our expenses for everything have averaged about 1,800 euros a month. That's approximately $2,000 US dollars, depending on the exchange rate. This includes rent, electric, uh, water, Wi-Fi, TV, two cell phones, private medical insurance, groceries, wine, lots of wine, <laughs> and dining out, transportation, and any miscellaneous expenses that we come up with. For your convenience, there's a listing of all of our monthly expenses in the description below. Number three, high quality health care is available. The fact that Portugal is ranked as number 22 in the best health care system of the world is a big factor for our decision process. FYI, United States comes in at 33. Our private insurance costs 102 euros per month, and that is for both of us. That's Plus, the total. yes, that's a total for the, for the two of us. We are also registered with SNS, that's the public health care system, and we can make use of all of their services as well. And we have used both the private and public systems and are more than satisfied with the quality of care that we have received. This is also the opinion of the majority of our expats friends. And what is also wonderful about being part of the public health system here is that anywhere we travel in the EU, any of the EU countries, we are covered as well, which is a tremendous benefit when you're traveling around Europe. Number four, walkability, no vehicle required. 
We live in the Seda Feta neighborhood and most everything that we need to do is within a short walking distance. That's shopping for groceries, that's going out to eat, that's going to a couple of our favorite parks for picnics. Um, it is just so refreshing to be able to just walk out your door and go do stuff. Very similar to our experience with Portland, Maine, which kind of set us up uh, for all of this because we haven't owned a vehicle since 2011 and we really appreciate the ability to just walk and live our daily lives. Number five, food. It's clean, it's fresh, and it's such high quality. In any grocery store or butcher shop or fruit market or public market, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so far, we've been so impressed. It's just like, wow, we are so lucky that we can go and buy great food for really a low cost. Um, Non-GMO. Most, I think almost everything is non-GMO here. Sugar is used instead of high fructose corn syrup. They don't allow that stuff. It was a surprise. We bought ketchup and I thought, oh no, yes. there's that nasty <laughs> stuff in there. We know what sugar is and they have sugar instead. Yay. Um, and boy, do they have fresh fish, obviously. And I'm spoiled because anybody that knows Kathleen uh, knows how uh, what a wonderful cook she is. And she loves going to talk to Sergio, our butcher, and find out how these different cuts of meat and different meats here are prepared. So it's really been a treat. And just a side note here, you can tune in as she puts them together, uh, her take on how to cook Portuguese. And, and I think you'll find that interesting as well. So uh, thanks, sweetheart. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Number six, besides our feet, there is fabulous and convenient transportation. Um, we have a modern metro system of trams and buses that get us to just about anywhere we want to go here in Porto. In addition to the metro and the buses, we have a wonderful international airport and two train stations right here in uh, Porto that easily connect us with all of Portugal and Europe. Very convenient. Um, we had a day trip to Braga, which was about an hour each way on the urban train. And I think for the two, the two of us, since we were seniors, it was what, like seven euros round trip. So it was a deal. <laughs> That's great. And comfy too. Number seven, there is a strong sense of community and just general caring for one another here. On our second day here in Porto, we met our first Portuguese friend in a local shop. We just walked in and there was this really friendly person and she welcomed us with open arms and a hug and she told us in English, she speaks English and she speaks French and of course Portuguese. She told us how pleased and excited she was that we chose to come to live here. Yeah, yeah. And she also told us how proud she is of her country. And that was refreshing and really encouraging. Yeah, and one of the things when she talked about that pride that I've come to notice, it was like our first Metro ride, we were going out to Monsignor, uh, to the fish market. And um, it actually, it was the first time we'd used the Metro. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching these young people just jump up out of their seats when somebody got on board. The, the, it was filled, seats were filled. Somebody got on that was pregnant uh, or somebody got on that was elderly. I was offered a seat once. And, or somebody with children. It's ingrained into the culture, into the way they're raised. This is what our friend told us um, at the shop we go to that she's so proud of is that they take care of each other. And it's not even like a second, they don't even think about it. This, if somebody needs a seat, this person will just jump up and offer them their seat. And on the Metro, any of the public transportation, everybody wears a mask, no questions asked. It is amazing. Number eight. 
One side benefit that's not in our seven items of quality of life or defining the quality of life for us is the side benefit that we hadn't really thought about. And that's the tremendous support uh, that, that we receive and the like-mindedness um, that's there with the expat community here in Porto. It has been amazing to connect with all of these adventurous individuals who are also desiring this high quality of life here in not only Porto, but Portugal as well. Hopefully we've given you an idea why we chose to come to Portugal and how we feel about this choice after only six months. In the description below, you'll find information and links to the resources that we have used in making this decision of moving to Portugal and guiding us uh, on this new adventure together. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to. And remember, life is truly just one adventure after another. What, what adventure, adventure are, are you, you on today? today?